Hello and welcome back to Speed Model. Now, after watching the past couple of episodes, I realized that maybe we needed things to look a little bit more interesting, you know, just to have a little bit more visual interest. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start this episode by giving everything a little coat of color. Of course, after that, we're just gonna continue modeling basically things that are smaller and smaller scale. And of course, the whole idea is to build up to the final place with everything intact. You're watching episode 4 of Speed Model. We begin this episode of Speed Model by giving everything a coat of color. Technically, it's not really time to add color yet, but I wanted to make the show more visually pleasing than it is right now. Of course, I had some trouble visually separating the meshes at some points during the modeling, so having everything colored also helps in that regard. I've enabled ray tracing for some of the materials, particularly in the bathroom, and you can see the effects on both the glass door and the mirror. We return to modeling. I built an oven door, spending quite a bit of time shaping it since it was a little too elongated for my liking. I had to tweak the kitchen cabinet mesh, but eventually I was satisfied. And after setting a material for the clear window, I turned my attention to building a handle for the door. This once again closely mirrors the second season of the show. The handle is simply a cube extruded out and curved inward. Similar to the second season, I copied the oven handle to the fridge. Then, I built little knobs for all the kitchen cabinet doors. You've seen this before too. This is just an icosphere at the lower subdivision setting, creating a nice faceted shape. It is colored gold and attached to the front of all the drawers and cabinets. I was going to do the same for the wardrobe as well, but then I had a little stroke of inspiration. Why not let the doors slide past each other instead? For little variety. This also allows the wardrobe to be a little bigger since I no longer need to set aside space for the swinging doors. I pull one of the doors to the side, intending to build a little recessed handle like you see so often with such sliding doors. I use boolean operators to do this, first by slicing a cylinder into two, then using that semicircular mesh to cut a notch into the door. Then I duplicate the semicircular mesh, scale it down, and subtract the small one from the larger one. The result of this is a hollowed semicircular mesh, which I can then shrink down and place over the door. Now, I wasn't too happy about the size of it, and I ended up repeating the entire set of steps with everything slightly scaled down. With the new handle in place, I moved the door over to the wardrobe and copied it across, creating two sliding doors. I turned my attention to the bathroom, building a sink once again using boolean operations to cut a half sphere into the cabinet. It takes a few tries, but once I was successful, I used a cylinder to cut a little drain for the sink. With the sink in place, I place doors on the cupboard below. After scaling them to size, I add little doorknobs to them, leaving us with nothing left to do but the faucet. I decided to use a box modeling technique to build this one, generating a rough shape by extrusion before subdividing it to smooth everything out. After some tweaks, I place it by the sink and copy the tab from the kitchen. I fiddle about with its position for a while, eventually getting it in place. Let's render out what we have so far. With these new materials and meshes in place, the apartment is starting to feel more and more like an actually habitable place. And there you go, we're making good progress, but maybe starting next episode, I'm gonna have to cram more content into the individual episodes, you know, just to make sure that it doesn't drag on for too long. It's hard to gauge how long this show will run, simply because it's hard to gauge the amount of work that needs to be done. I've of course not done something on this scale before, it has always been individual rooms, 
not an entire apartment where I have to furnish every single room. So, well, this takes time. Anyway, we'll see how that goes. That's basically all there is for this particular episode. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, you're watching 0612 TV. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, consider checking out the rest of my work on my channel. Alternatively, you may be interested in the last season of Speed Model. If you'd like to show me some monetary support, I am on Patreon. You can find a link to my campaign in the video description. Of course, you can simply like this video or leave a comment. I'll be sure to respond as soon as I can. To keep in touch with my future uploads, do subscribe to this channel. And for even more updates, check out the official Twitter account for this channel at 0612TV. Thank you for your support.